Welcome back to another action figure review. In this review, we're going to be taking a look at the Halo Infinite Series 118 scale Spartan EOD with the Hydra Launcher. Okay, this is the package that comes in. It's a package we're used to seeing from all of the waves of the Halo Infinite Series 118 scale. Pretty nice, pretty oddly shaped, pretty creative. So, this is the front, here's the top, side of the box. Other side of the box, and then we have the uh, bottom. Shows the UPC there. If you're looking for this figure, it's pretty cool. Um, found these at Walmart, nine ninety six as of this video. So they're starting to hit Walmart's. Here on the back of the packaging, you can see uh, the figures that are available in that wave. I'm trying to pause and take a look at those. So that's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and take this figure outside the packaging. Let's take a look how cool he is. Okay, here's our 118 scale EOD Spartan outside of the packaging. Um, so this initial Spartan has a lot of yellow and black armor. We have a tad bit of like the grays and like maybe a very muted blue, like blue. Nice visor, it could be like a metallic blue. Other than that, pretty standard, not much color at all to see besides pretty much the yellow and then the black. Looks very cool. It's like an armor. Let's take a look at that head sculpt. Um, it's the helmet, it's not removable. There's no head to, uh, like an alternate head. It's just basically the helmet head. So, you see all the sculpt work here on the back. With the black to break up some of the yellow. The black on the back of the head and the helmet we do have some black stripe on the top of the helmet very cool looking I like how the mask is designed there it looks really awesome here if you can see we have these black pegs sticking off the armor right here is two of them on each side a certain angle you hold you can see them um these are maybe some type of grenades i'm not sure here around the front of the belt. Some black here on the thigh pads. Very cool um, design for the knee pads. And then we have the shin and the boots. A lot of work there. Pretty nice. So it's going to take a 360 look at him so you guys can see the whole figure. A couple different angles. A little bit of print there on the back of the leg. Top of it and the bottom have two pig holes. Very cool. I like this figure. It is something I finally hit stores. I've been looking for them for a while. I'm finally on a hunt. I ended up finding out at Walmart. They had the entire wave um, of these figures. I think there's two. Of the two different Spartans in the in the case that I've seen, obviously I didn't open the case. They're one of pigs, but there were two of each of the yellow one, and the other one I picked up was a green one. I don't remember the name of it. We'll be doing that in a separate review. So pretty cool. So for the articulation, uh, the head, his neck does look down really nicely. Um, for up, pretty decent. Back to stationary. Not really side to side on this guy, I don't think. Um, you can probably get a 360 on this guy. Maybe not. It, you can see the helmet, helmet hits the armor. This upper piece of the armor. Um, there about that far. So, I mean, it could do a 360 if it wasn't for the body armor. Because it's definitely on a ball joint. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Guess you just got to get the right angle. And that worked. Cool. Arms on a ball joint to rotate 360 all the way around. I can see that these black two pieces will hit the chest, upper chest, or shoulder armor there. And so you get about that upper range for both arms up. There's a rotation 360 to the elbow. 
Do we have a bendable elbow? Um, not quite 90 degrees on either one. The wrist we might have, we have an in and out like this on this wrist. And obviously they do rotate 360. And this one also has the same design wrist in and out and a 360 rotation. We do have articulation here. So we can get a side to side on the uh, lower chest area. A little bit of a crunch, a little bit back and forth. Um, let's see, do we have a waist swivel? No. This will not turn 360 because of this lower teeth area, I want to call it, here and here, because it catches the side. Well, I guess if you force it, like I just did, there's a rotation. Stand corrected. Um, I don't see any way for that to turn. So for the legs, um, you can see how the legs automatically hit the crotch area. So we can't get no splits with this guy. Um, this way, eh, the leg hits the back side. Sits really nice, so that's good. We can get him in the warthog or on the mongoose or the gun goose if you so desire. There's definitely a where, yeah, definitely a hinge in there. Yeah, it's really about that much if we can get that hinge to work. Get past that this piece right here on the on a crotch area. Not too bad, I guess. <clears throat> we do have a rotation here. Is there a thigh rotation? Mm, no, there's no cut there. Double jointed knees, that's great. That's pretty cool. You can ask for better than that, right? And then we have, for his feet, they do pivot down. Do you have a nice up? We have, we can get the side to sides because I think you can rotate, yep, you can rotate the foot all the way around the ankle. It's on a ball joint. Pretty cool. Yeah, this is an awesome figure. So like I said, for $9.96, this is a great figure. Definitely, if you've been collecting the Halo Infinite figures, this is definitely going to be a nice addition to your Spartans. Pretty cool. Um, he has a weapon. Let's take a look at that weapon. He has the Hydra Launcher. We have two-tone gray. We have the light gray and a dark gray. And it might be a little bit of black right there. Or maybe on the barrel here. Pretty cool. This is like a darker gray here on the bottom. And it looks like we have a pig on this weapon. And that's obviously probably for his back. Pig is down seated down between these two plates right there. It's long she long enough for it to work out pretty good. That's how that stays. It fits really nice. Pretty cool. Awesome. Let's see how well he holds his uh, hydro launcher. See, he has this piece right here. These are a pain. I hate those. So you kind of got to get the front to go in first. Accepted it really. The hands kind of accepted it really well, but the thumb got in the way, and that is thick that grip. Yeah, that's definitely very tricky. That's a very um, wide grip there. It does seem feels like it's going to stretch off the fingers, and that thumb is definitely an issue. So you may have something to get inside there, like a little uh, tool, like. I kind of have one of these things I've used before. Kind of get in there and I pull the thumb out around the handle. And it, it's a softer plastic, so it kind of does, but it maybe main, maintain that shape with a, a wider grip. So this is how he holds it. Because um, the bend ratio of the elbow is about the best you're going to get. Looks 
pretty good. So we can bring the other hand up. We do have that in on the wrist. So let's see if we can give him the whole, well, it just popped out. And you can see how wide that hand is now. Yeah, so the hands are probably the only complaint I have about this figure. So we either complain about the hands or we complain about the, the wideness of that grip. The last accessory that it comes with is this display base. It's like a rocky train, two peg, um, peg uh, post there, the bottom of it. You can connect these with all your other Halo figures. They connect together and then we simply just see how it fits. Fits really nicely on the stand. Doesn't fall off and that's just one peg. Pretty cool. All right. Uh, like I said, these are $9.96 at Walmart. They're starting to hit. I haven't seen them anywhere else um, in my area. I You can use the UPC maybe to call the store, see if they have any available for you. If you're interested, I don't know. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and all the content I provided for you. Hopefully you guys can find these um, at your local Walmart or even Target. It should be available on Target eventually. Um, don't forget to uh, subscribe to my channel. You a lot of great reviews. Um, some more cool stuff coming up you don't want to miss. Uh, don't forget to give a thumbs up, like and share the video. Comment down below with any questions or comments. And as always, we will see you in our next review.